All right, so the next one here, an active duty airman is on a hunger strike against Gaza starvation. So this article is from Jerry Condon, um, someone who's uh, he's with Veterans for Peace. So an active duty Air Force airman is on a hunger strike in front of the White House in solidarity with the children of Gaza who are being deliberately starved to death. Larry Hebert, a senior airman with six years in the Air Force, began his hunger strike at the White House on Easter Sunday. He says he will be present at the White House from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. April 1st to the 6th and then move to the House of Representatives beginning Monday, April 8th, when Congress is back in session. Airman Hebert, who recently joined the organization Veterans for Peace, says he was inspired by the self-immolation of active duty airman Aaron Bushnell. He said, quote, when Aaron Bushnell took his own life at the Israeli embassy for the people of Gaza, that had a profound impact on me. I felt and resonated exactly with how he was feeling, and so that was really powerful and influential. But what really infuriated me was the response afterward. Leadership within the military and within our government were just silent. There was utter silence surrounding Aaron Bushnell and what he did. I knew I had to raise my voice in opposition to the U.S. government supplying Israel the bombs and rockets to commit genocide in Gaza. Active duty members are afraid to speak out, and I hope my example and that of others like Aaron can change that, end quote. So he's still active duty in mid-March, um, and he's from New Hampshire himself. He took an authorized leave from his assignment at a naval station in Spain, and since then he has participated in demonstrations demanding a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and visited several congressional offices to press for an end to U.S. weapons shipments to Israel, which violates several U.S. laws. And, and Jerry outlined all the laws that foreign assistance laws that are violated by U.S. the U.S. arming Israel. Um, so this goes to show, uh, you know, the descent from within the U.S. military, which I think is uh, significant. I'm, I'm sure that there are more people who are disgusted with what they're supporting, um, with, with what the U.S. is supporting.